Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nick from The Skin Deep standing in the hot ass sun to let you know that we have the end card game available in our online shop, theskindeep.com slash shop so that you can start exploring all the relationships in your life. Ooh, what do you remember from the first time we met? Oh, I was 18, 19, I'm not sure. I was so excited because I've been the only child for 17 years, so. It's nice to have a little brother. He's like so cute and chubby, <laughs> round. <laughs> and I used to carry you all the time, like on my back, and hold you like this. You want the Africa the straps? Was, no, not even the strap. I didn't use. Free, I free baby did. Free babies, you were. <laughs> <laughs> and you loved it. It was like your favorite thing. Yeah. Do you was, do that with um, the youngins, the youth? I do everything with my sons. Everything I did with you, I do with them. Cool. But so you it's like it. raising <laughs> hands all over again. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you just refined your methods now. Yeah, it's just Good. Uh, African Americanized. Yes. When did you feel closest to me? I do remember my favorite when I felt closest no. to you. No. <laughs> no. Fuck. All right. I'm I know not you're going to say. The details. I know you're going to say. You can say it. You can say it. So I'm dropping off, and you're standing there when you're like 16. Yeah, I was 16. And you're smiling like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, what's wrong with you? Why are you smiling like you just lost your virginity? <laughs> like, and you just kept smiling. And I was like, get out of the car. Get out. Hans, get in. <laughs> Details. <laughs> yeah. That was so bizarre because I, I had, like, I had like, plan. I was like, be cool, like, keep it cool, like, tell people eventually. And like the yes. first person I see, like, I get back from upstate. What happened? I was like, oh. oh, I thought it was special. I thought you were waiting to tell me. No, fuck no. But I just <laughs> I like to guess, keep that why are you inside? standing there like you just lost your virginity? Yeah. yeah. I felt close when um, I had my appendicitis thing. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and you dressed me in women's jeans to go to the hospital. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. The fucking attendings like... Did you look good? Did you look good? I don't good? know, I looked up in pain. <laughs> That's cool, it was like a function yeah. more than, than style. <laughs> Form so follows I'm function. Sorry. No, it's okay. But I felt close to you there. I was like, oh, that's cool. My sister is like, no questions asked. She's helping me. I'm in pain. She's blah, blah, blah. Sort me out. <laughs> and I fucked up that whole deep Dominican Republic trip. <laughs> what quality of trait of mine, quality or trait of mine, do you respect most? I think a more like closer to what I really, really, really respect is the, is your really durable, like suit, like elastic. Like you have something that's really troubling you, and rather than like wallow in it, like sometimes I, I'll like, if something's bothering me, I'll just like you know, do my own thing, blah, 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 sit here and just feel sorry for myself. I don't think that you ever like felt sorry for yourself, and I respect that. I do. I feel sorry for myself a lot of times. Really? But, um, this is African way, you, you have to bottle everything in. Mm -hmm. You can't show weakness, so. Or you can't cry or complain because other people have, you know, worse lives than you do yeah. so why are you complaining you have food shelter you have clothes on your back but that's not that's not reality because mm -hmm. i do have feelings yeah and rather than take them out um, i did take my feelings out on you once <laughs> Real, what <laughs> yeah not, you, not one of our favorite memories <laughs> no well, actually one of my worst memories ever wow it haunts me okay what was it i don't know what i was angry about but you were two and you mm -hmm. were touching everything mm -hmm. Constantly touching everything. And I was, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. And then I grabbed your hand. I said, don't touch it. And I'm looking at you. Like, don't touch it, okay? And I held, perhaps I held it too hard. And then I let it go. But then a few, um, few minutes later, I noticed that it was swelling in your hand. And that freaked me out. And I had to go to the bathroom and I was panicking. And my heart was really? beating so fast. Like, what, what am I doing? What, why did I get so mad? Why? Mm, and I said to myself, I'm never going to do that again. And I didn't. Mm -hmm. But then when my son, he's four now, I catch myself I'm like when I get to that point where I'm like so angry mm -hmm. for whatever reason, mm -hmm. I have to walk away because I don't want to repeat that moment mm -hmm. ever. I feel you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, how was our childhood similar and different and how has that affected our relationship? Ooh, that's a deep. Yeah, the long question. No much time. Yeah. Yet. Okay, different. I was born in Africa. I was born in America. Mm -hmm. I was. Uh, I'm a girl. I'm a guy. 
You can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep quiet now. I was raised by our grandma. Rest in peace. And um, I was the only child for a long time. Grandma was like my stone. She was like my everything. Um, so I think the, the difference is that I had grandma there, the stability of the love, and the, you know, I always had food to eat. Mm -hmm. And the difference is that you had, had mom. Mm -hmm. So that was, I think, part of where the anger came from. That I was going to say, did you ever feel like resentment? Like not, not maybe to mom, like to, not to us because we're kids, but like just in gen general sense of resentment about that, that like now mom is like, in America established and is having kids and living with the kids. Meanwhile, back then, that was not an option. That resentment, um, that's, that's a tough word, a strong one. But I think you know, that I was trying to explain to you that the first, when I, when I held your hand, mm -hmm. I was starting to feel, because I just came, I was starting to feel that. Like you had mom and you had dad. And I was in this strange place where I didn't feel like I belonged. Yeah. So it was, it was tough. It was, it was, it was a tough time for me. Yeah. That's how I felt about that. I think, I mean, I, I feel like if you like were to just graph it, obviously our childhoods are like different in a lot of ways if you were just like look at bullet points. But I think like more thematically, yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head. There was like a situation where you felt like you didn't have something mm -hmm. and someone else had it. And I was in a situation where like I had it, but like, not that it wasn't, you, you don't have to expect, but like it's just, like we, uh, you know now that like that's no prerequisite for like happiness. Yeah, you know what I mean, just absolutely. having that doesn't mean it's all gonna work out. Yeah. Towards the end, I kind of felt sorry for, for you, mm -hmm. and and because it's almost like the same thing happened to you, mm -hmm. around that same time, where you're now wondering, why is this person gone? Yeah. Why are they not here? Why are they not here all the time? Is it important that they are able to give you? Financial help, but not like pr Emotion, like yeah. emotional or uh, presence. Yeah. So, so then I think that's when we started getting a little closer. It's like, okay, yeah. it happened to them, so it's not me. I didn't do anything wrong. It's just a situation. So, but it's, it was years of dealing with that, like feeling feeling um, isolated or like or without. not good enough. Like mm -hmm. whatever I do is never going to be good enough because I'm not. I didn't come from a home mm -hmm. of, a, of a married, a marriage, um, yeah. and, and it's just like, okay, I'm um, just this thing that happened, yeah. and now everybody has to deal with it. Yeah, it's but powerful. I'm not just this thing that happened. I'm me. What are you hesitant to tell me? <sighs> I knew they'd give me this one. Um, <laughs> hey guys, Nick from The Skin Deep to tell you that if you want to help us make more videos, you can do so by checking out our Patreon page and supporting our work. It's skindeep.com slash Patreon. Thanks.